The Mars rover is an iconic figure in space travel, and Honeybee Robotics, a company responsible for the robot's metal demon sampling arm, plays a major role in the robotics industry. We go to Emery Wells for more. Honeybee Robotics has been involved in some of the most prevalent, groundbreaking robotic gadgetry of our time, from their work on the Mars rover to the design and construction of the sampling arm that will be used in the upcoming Phoenix mission to test the Mars poles for life. I'm here with Dustin Roberts, Honeybee's project engineer. Dustin, first question, what are you guys doing for the Phoenix mission? Uh, the Phoenix mission, we have a couple instruments on. One is called the ISAD. It's the icy soil acquisition device. It's on the end of the scoop of the Phoenix arm. Once the arm digs into the dirt and finds ice, it can kind of kick up some ice into the scoop and then deliver it to another instrument. How do you ensure that there's no organic organisms on it when it leaves Earth? So if you were to test it for, for life on Mars, you would, it wouldn't be contaminated with something from Earth. Right, so we uh, do all of our assembly in a clean room. We're in head-to-toe bunny suits, and then all the hardware is meticulously clean before it's brought into that clean room. And also, once the whole assembly is together, it goes through what we call a bake-out. They bake it at about 100 degrees Celsius, so anything that's on there, any kind of microbes or particles, they get kind of volatilized, they bake off. So you guys are hoping to find life. Is that the primary mission for Phoenix, is to search for life? One of them is we find the building blocks for life. No one actually knows exactly what got put together and when life crawled out, but if we can find carbon and oxygen and water traces, then we have a good idea that there might have been life there once. And we already know that there's quite a bit of water in the poles, is that right? We know that there is ice there, and we don't know how deep it is exactly. We've got some estimates. And we know that there's a lot of things we've seen, uh, rock formations and minerals, that we don't know to exist without the presence of water at some point in time. So we have proven that there was water at one point. Well, the future is obviously bright for Honeybee. Dustin, thank you so much for showing us around. We're looking forward to the results of the Phoenix mission and in 2009, the Mars Science Laboratory mission, which you can find out more about on honeybeerobotics.com.